All right, now, our next guest, Pepper, says she remembers her experience with her first lover, Ed, like it was yesterday. Oh, Pepper, tell us. Was it good? Yes, it was very nice. Um, I met Eddie, actually, through a friend of mine, and um, we went to a club and everything. We had lots of fun. And um, then we went back to his apartment and kind of made out a little bit, but he didn't, like, force the issue or anything, so. So he didn't force the issue. You guys just made out, and there was, like, a connection. Yeah, okay, exactly. so when did you do it? Um, not that I'm forcing the issue or anything, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, not for a while after that, but, like, um, he sent me flowers to my school. Like, we started talking on the phone and stuff, and nobody had ever sent me flowers before, so, um, like, I got flowers. Like, they called me to the office, and they were like, um, you know, go to the office. And uh, I went, and there was, like, this big, huge bouquet of flowers, and I had never gotten flowers before, and, like, most people, like, would leave them in the office and say, oh, yeah, my flowers over there, and I took them around to, like, every class I had. What did the card say? Um, I don't really remember, but I know it was just really sweet, and I was happy about it. Okay, so then mm -hmm. did you do it? Well, yeah, like <laughs> later on. Come on, right? Okay, so then later on, and then that night was great. Yeah, well, what happened was, first, um, first we tried it, and it didn't work out because it, you know, it hurt, and I was like, okay, that's enough. Um, so... You all know what she's talking about! <laughs> so... So um, then the second night, he was like, well, do you want me to stop? And I was like, no, just do it, you know, and he did, and he did, and it was, like, beautiful. And so how long ago was that? That was, like, eight years ago. Eight years ago, and you've still been thinking about him mm -hmm. all these years through other relationships. What is it about him that, that's so special to you? Um, just the way that he was. I mean, he was respectful, he was protective, and... I mean, he was real. And, like, a lot of guys at that time were, like, always trying to, like, I don't know, do it and then go somewhere. And he just, that wasn't, like, his thing. He was, like, he wanted to know me and he wanted to spend time with me and he didn't care that there wasn't a guarantee that something sexual was going to happen. So how did you, in the end, break up? What happened? Um, well, what happened was I called him on the phone and he was, like, being really mean. And I'm, like, what's going on? Because he was never like that, you know? And um, so I hung up the phone after the phone conversation was over and I called him back and I'm like, well, you need to come over. We need to talk. And he's like, all right. And then he came over and um, he's like, I don't think we should see each other anymore. And I was like, oh my God. And I'm like, you're stuck. And I started crying and everything. And um, then, then he left. And then I found out from my friend that he was actually going into the Marines and he didn't want to tell me. So you do realize he's here today. No, we found him, Aww. but we're going to send you <laughs> off. Just kind of stew it out a little bit, okay? okay? Take a few deep breaths, and we'll bring you back in just a few minutes, all right? Okay. Who knows? You know, we've had some good luck so far today, so I think luck is on her side. We'll find out, okay? We'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Coast clear? All right. Let's bring out Ed. Ed, where are you? How are you feeling right now? A little bit nervous. What's it like? I mean, you're, you're, you're here in front of these total strangers, not to mention the millions of people watching right now at home. Yeah. What's it like for you not knowing who wants to be reunited with you? Uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Just, just have, a little bit. Do you have any idea of who it might be? Not really. Any names no. popping up? Not really. Anybody you don't want to see? No. Not no? that I can think of. No, you're okay. You're really okay. Of, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, are you ready? I guess, yeah. Take a I deep breath. For that. Let's find out who brought you here. Come on out. How you doing? I'm sorry. Hi. You do remember her name. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Pepper. Okay, just checking, just checking. <laughs> Pepper, what do you want to say to Ed? Um, just, I brought you here because, um, Ricky's reuniting with, like, first loves and first times and everything, and you were my first time. Okay. <laughs> God, dude. <I> just, okay. <laughs> I Wait. don't know what to say. I'm just kind of, it's, I'm kind of shocked. Well, it just, it's hard for me to imagine that I made such an impact on somebody that they'd... Uh, really? I guess, yeah. I don't know. Wait, 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 what? Well, I mean, it's, uh -huh. it's hard for me to imagine that I could have made such an impact. I mean it. Really? Well, well, you don't mean that in a diss. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Like it's a diss. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I, mean, I just don't. You're like, surprised that she's thought about you yeah, all this time. Now I couldn't help but notice the gold on his finger. What does that mean? Yeah, I know. I heard. Yeah. I heard. 
I'm married. I have uh, two kids. Do you really? Yep. That's awesome. Yep. I have one. Little four-year-old girl named Jasmine, and we just had a newborn, Joshua. Good for you. Good for you. You know, she never forgot about the flowers you gave her. You remember that? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, thank you so much for surprising her, Ed. Good luck to you guys. I hope you reconnect and, and don't lose sight. All the best.